How's it going everybody? So real quick, I'm going to show you how to set up a jump throw bind and a run jump throw bind in CS2. I think the run jump throw bind is absolutely essential if you're wanting to throw some more advanced utility because it's pretty inconsistent if you don't have it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my auto exec. This is going to be down in the description below. You can copy and paste it into a text file and save it as a .cfg or you can join my Discord, which the link's down in the description and in the comments. And in my settings channel, I'm gonna have this auto exec, as well as a bunch of other of my settings in there, as well as the crosshair, all that great stuff is gonna be in there for you to take a look at. So starting off right here, this is the simple jump throw, and right below it is a W or run jump throw, right? So as you can see, I have H bound to jump throw and K bound to the W jump throw. You can change that to whatever you want, and you're just gonna, you're just gonna wanna save that just like this, and go ahead and copy it. And now we're gonna want to find our CS2 files. So you're gonna open up your Steam library, scroll down, you're going to right click on Counter-Strike 2, go to properties, and then go to installed files. In the top right, you can click browse. That's gonna open up a file explorer window right here to your local files. So you're gonna wanna go into this game folder right here, then into CSGO, then into CFG, and all you have to do is right click, paste your auto exec in here. It needs to be named auto exec or it's not gonna work. Once you have that set, you can just go ahead and launch up the game and it's going to automatically execute that, believe it or not, clever name. And uh, you can load in and see if it works. So just launched into a practice server and as you can see, I can go right about here and unpin my grenade and just tap H and that's gonna be a perfect jump throw at the click of one single button. And if I were to go over to a position like maybe right here, I can just tap K for a simple run jump throw and that's gonna go all the way up here and be the exact same smoke, but with a run jump throw. So yeah. It's, uh, I definitely recommend doing it. It's very easy and it makes smokes way more consistent. So yeah, hopefully you're able to implement this and use it in game.